Hey, what's up? Ray Del Vecchio here from WebsiteProfitCourse.com. Today we're going to install something that every website should have, and that's analytics. So you can get information about who's visiting your website, where they're coming from, how they're interacting with your website, what pages they're leaving on, how your landing pages are performing. You can get so much information and make much better decisions when you have that data on hand. Right now I'm on Google Analytics landing page and I'm just going to click this set up for free button. You can get here if you go to analytics.google.com. The analytics structure is broken down into three levels. You have accounts, properties, and views. And I normally just set up an account for each business. So if I'm running a client website and they have multiple websites, I have one Google Analytics account for them. And the same thing for my websites. I have multiple websites that I have under my personal account. So I'm guessing that you're probably just setting up one website for either you know your own business or your personal use. So we're going to show the example of setting up analytics for my personal domain, which is raydelvecchio.com. Right now it's pretty much just used as a test website. I don't have much content on there right now. Eventually I may, may build that out. Most of my time is spent on other websites. So you can name this whatever you like. And all these check boxes are for sharing information with Google. So it's up to you if you want to leave them checked or uncheck them. Then we go to the next step. And this is where you can install for either a website or an app. I've never installed Google Analytics for an app, so I always choose this first option, web. And click the next button. And this is where you set your website name. So I normally just put in the URL first right here in the second step. If you have secure HTTPS, make sure you select that from the drop down. And then you can just type in your domain name. And then I, I just go ahead and copy and paste this domain name up here for the property website name. You can select a broad category here. And this is just going to give you some comparative data to show how your website is performing compared to other people in these industries. Since this is a personal website, I'm just going to mark it as other. And then you select your time zone. So I'm on the East Coast, so I'm going to go with New York time. And we click the Create button. Agree to the Terms of Service. And hit I Accept. And the outcome of this is they should give you a tracking code. Now they're trying to set up email communications. So if you want to get information about Google Analytics announcements that kind of thing you can select these checks check boxes and save or just click uncheck all and save if you don't want them and they're giving you all these little you know tips here I'm gonna exit out of this try the new Google Google Analytics app no thanks this is what I'm looking for here the global site tag this is the tracking code and we need to copy and paste this into our WordPress website and I'm going to show you how to do this without a plugin. If you want to make it easier, there are plugins out there that might do this for you. And on top of that, some themes might have built in settings in order to just install Google Analytics through the theme. Sometimes they might not ask for the tracking code here, but they'll ask for the tracking ID, which is this number up here. But if you're going to copy and paste the code directly, you want this code right here so when you select it it should copy all or select it all and then just click control C or right click and copy it it tells you right up here that you want to copy and paste this code as the first item into the head section of every web page so that's what we need to access on WordPress to get this code up and running so we're gonna go back to the WordPress admin area I'm here on the dashboard and if we go into appearance theme editor this is going to show our theme files. So right now, I'm using the 2020 free theme that WordPress puts out, and I created a child theme for this. So right now, I'm running that child theme called 2020 Blogger, and we only have two files here, a functions.php and a style.css. So in order to access that head section of our website, we need to copy a PHP template called header.php. Now, you can do this without a plugin if you have FTP software, an FTP program that lets you access your web server. And I have a full tutorial on how to do that, which I'll link up here in the top right. But if you want to make this easier, there is a plugin that lets you access your child theme and create a child theme called Child Theme Configurator. If I go over to the plugin section here, you can see that's installed. 
And what this does is it creates a new menu in the tool section called child themes. And if we go over to files here, it lets you select all of the templates that are available from your parent theme, which I mentioned is 2020. And it lets you copy that over to your child theme where you can edit it. So all we want to do is copy header.php to our child theme. So if we go back to appearance theme editor, we now have that third file header.php right here. And if we click into it, this is the area that we need to edit. This is our head section and it's header.php. It shows up on every page of the website, which is just what Google Analytics is recommending that we do. So that way we're tracking every page on the website. So we'll paste in our code. They, they recommend doing it as the first item under the head. So we'll just hit enter a few times and paste it in. And if you want to make it look pretty, you can tab it over, but I don't really care. I'll just leave it in there like this. We'll update file. And that's all there is to it. You now have Google Analytics installed. And within 24 to 48 hours, if you begin looking at your reports, you should start to see data coming in. You know, if it's a new website, you might not have any visitors. The only person that it might be tracking is you. And from there, you just want to start learning Google Analytics. You know, the most important thing you can do is set up goals, which it might be, you know, somebody going to a certain page on your website, an event on your website, like submitting a form. There's a lot of different ways that you can set up goals, but that way you can see what percentage of your visitors are converting to either leads or customers. If this is your first WordPress website or you still consider yourself a beginner, I have free WordPress 101 training that'll teach you all the basics that you need to get up to speed. That'll go more into how WordPress is put together. It'll give you a tour of the WordPress admin area and you'll get a better idea of how I use WordPress both for my personal websites and my client websites. Now if you're specifically looking to launch a blog, I have step-by-step -step training that'll get you there in 14 days. And in fact, this tutorial came about from instructions within that training. I tried to distill all of the basics and the essentials that you need for long-term success. And as I mentioned in this video, I use the 2020 theme. It's a free theme, so you don't have to worry about designing a crazy website or buying a premium theme to launch your personal blog. So if you'd like to do that, go to 14dayblog.com. And I'll include a link to both of these trainings within the description below. Last but not least, if this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel for future WordPress tutorials. If you got any questions regarding Google Analytics, leave them in the comments below. I review analytics all the time. I probably go in there three to four times a week and I've done that for probably 10 years or however long I've had Google Analytics installed on my websites. If you go through that daily process, you'll be an expert in no time as well. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. Make sure you implement this on your own WordPress website and continue to push forward with those skills. And I hope you have a good one today.